Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of October, as usual, I have a special sales offer available that it's inspired in the current Libra season we are on. If you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below where you can also find the current list of tarot readings I offer. If you would like to um, know more details about any of those uh, services again just email me if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the paypal link which is also down below so aries i do feel like some of you are very excited here to pursue something it's like your 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 attention has been you know put into something or is about to be put into something that draws you in quite a lot and so you're very motivated to give a lot of energy here to something that is really captivating an aspect of your energy that has been low or you know uh, less um, interested, less creative, less stimulated. It's like something passes by and you see it and it, it, uh, brings, it brings up a feeling that has not been that present um, as of lately. And that is very um, good for you. I feel like there's something here about you being very uh, busy in a good way so you're being very active and also proactive in the pursuit of your own goals and desires right now that it's taking you to a position where you reach higher levels of satisfaction especially with the person you are so i see that if you have been having low, low esteem issues you're recovering that the next weeks are important in terms of maintaining a very good uh sense of self um, this positive sense of pride when it comes to you, uh, feeling beautiful, feeling, uh, you know, strong, feeling independent, feeling capable. There's a lot of feelings about the self that are invig like there's a strong sense of inv uh, you feeling invigorated about um, the components that form you as a person that it's interesting here to see because I feel like some of you there's a lot of things that at times, you know, uh, like it passes you by that you don't, it's like you don't see yourself either in the best light or you don't even see what makes you, you know, what makes you the you that it's very special, that it's very unique, that's very creative, that's very attractive here with the Queen of Wands is your advice. So you're really advised to stay in that energy of dominance and mastery over the fire elements that obviously you being a fire sign already you know you are in touch um with it but for you to really hold on to the best traits that that aries energy has to offer you right now and i feel like for many it's this ability to live life on your own terms to do things in your own terms according to your own vision your own beliefs that it's very free freeing very liberating for you for others it's about you being able to live a life that feels you know um free that feels like you can do whatever you want you can access whatever you want to access like there's no sense of limitations right now with you that it stimulates growth, a lot of growth, um, especially for some of you areas that have desire to go somewhere to do something um, that feels a little bit risky or that feels a little bit, you know, that you have been unsure if it's the right move or not. I feel like there's going to be confirmation, positive confirmation that yes, um, you should go in the direction of change. And for some of you, it's a big change. It's um, a, a trip. To, it's like something here about a trip to foreign lands. So there seems to be like this this travel um, that for some of you it's literal. So it's really you going to a new place, a whole new different place um, to experience a whole different, you know, life. For others, it's just this curiosity to see what's out there. So you could just want to go somewhere for the sake of the experience itself, you know. Um, for others of you, it's a big change, a big move when it comes to career or just... Um, you know, wanting to take things 
to the big next level, but I keep getting like in a different note, so things cannot stay exactly the same. Um, some of you are also very motivated and interested in, um, you know, in uh, rearranging elements that are not working for you, that are dull, you know, that bring you a sense of boredom or that put you in that old energy um, of yourself that you don't identify anymore. So you could be doing a lot of redecorating in your home, changing things a lot, changing your image, um, changing everything about your business or about the way you, you, you present yourself, you know, in, um, in the internet, in social media or you know, out there, you could be, you know, launching something completely different or taking a class or um, experimenting here with a hobby that's really, you know, out of the usual for you, out of the norm. It's just very important that regardless of what you have going on right now, you move outside of your routines or you move outside of those things that make you feel stagnant. It's important that you feel empowered. So what it is um, those things right now in your life that where you can access that feeling of empowerment. Um, together here with the Knight of Wands uh, as your opportunity, again, you have an opportunity to take the lead on something, to go somewhere, to act upon something that maybe you were fearful um, of doing or to just, you know, feel this surge of energy that takes you by surprise and you end up um, discovering that you want to do something or that you want to experience something that you was not in your plans. I feel like it's a very unpredictable, but it's, it, there's something about an unpredictable energy, unpredictable flow, but it's in a shown in a positive light so it's like the unpredictable elements will work at your favor for the majority of you and i feel like you will like it because for some it will take you out of apathy or boredom uh simply for those that have felt like lately things have been again stuck stagnant there's going to be movement of energy here in very soon i also feel like in terms of love and relationships there seems to be here something Either you have your eyes on someone or someone has, you know, their eyes on you and it's probable, probable that it's like a mutual thing. It's a very mutual attraction here. I feel like you, you could be in a moment where you're not afraid to make, you know, bold, passionate, yet clever moves when it comes to a person of interest. For those of you that are wondering if you should or not make a move when it comes to your person of interest, yes, this is a yes, you should. There seems to be here something that you can, um, you know, it, there seems to be an action that you can take, a move that you can make that ends up again working to your favor when it comes to a connection, especially for a person of interest to so someone that, you know, things are not, Define things are not um, you know solid not a, not not assumed it's just a person that you are interested in and you are wondering if you should or not do something um for those of you that are in a relationship it's important that you take the lead if you feel like your relationship right now is not providing you um those elements that you need to feel at peace with it to feel good in it there's something that you can do to bring life to this connection, to this union you have. There seems to be something that you can do that it's in your hands that could be very uh, defining of the survival of a specific relationship you have. Um, I do feel that regardless of your status, you're most likely going to be pursued in a certain level. So you can feel that people are, you know, more interested in you, uh, wanting to hook up with you, wanting, you know, being flirtatious with you. Definitely there seems to be a lot of attention put on you. The more you, you know, bloom into this beautiful version of the Queen of Wands in the next weeks, the more you, you're, going, you're going to actually experience here a level of understanding of how, you know, how you call it? There's a specific word. It's like how desired you are. Maybe, again, there has been this uh, lack of trust in the self that has contaminated you and your real understanding of who you are. 
and part of it also relates to how desirable and attractive and interesting you feel to others and maybe you haven't felt that you are that much and I feel like for those that have struggled with that you're going to see that you are absolutely desired, desirable, wanted um, and I feel like there's something here about this this desire, this want to be desired, to be needed um, it's it's it it seems here for the majority that it's actually coming from a good place, not you know. Uh, for some, it could be just a matter of wanting your the attention put on you, um, in a superficial level. But I don't feel that. I feel like actually, the need to be needed, the 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 need to be desired, the um, the um, the feeling here of wanting to have this certain people chase you or show you how much they want you um it empowers you right now for some reason because i feel like you need that validation at a certain level to really look at yourself in a different way your challenge is the ace of cups it's the um i feel like there's something here about the in-depth process of healing that you have been uh, making that is still here uh something you're managing there's i feel like aside of all this energy i just described and there's another aspect of your life that it's more private more hidden it's more about your own internal process um that nobody gets to peek nobody gets to see nobody gets to know about only it's a relationship that only you know about a relationship with feelings or with a specific process that has been with you that takes you to depths that are incredible and for some of you it's also about the fact that you're still recovering and transforming out of a situation that was difficult that you know where you had to make um i feel like for some of you areas you had to make to create a lot of space uh overall in your heart to bring back this new surge of energy and this new movement hence the you're getting there, but there's still something about your heart space that feels challenging in the sense that uh, maybe when it comes to to put your real your real heart in the line upon certain things, you might still find it challenging. So if you get to be with someone, uh, especially you know a new a new person, a new relationship, you might want to have fun you might want to meet this person date this person but don't feel necessarily ready to commit or engage emotionally trust emotionally i also feel like for many of you this is a matter of trust how you're able to trust the actually good fortune indicated here some of you it's just the fact that you don't trust enough or you don't have still enough faith that you are absolutely deserving of this energy and again that there's a level of gorgeousness and beauty and specialness about you that you need to recognize um so i hope you have a great mid-month hopefully we'll see each other soon